What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Yes, it's time to do another huge bucket list opening video. So before Guardian Con, we ended up having the Auto Rifle and Pulse Rifle bounties. I ended up making it my mission to complete the Auto Rifle ones. But on my Warlock, I also got a Pulse one done. So, score, double score. That means extra chances at getting one, the Counterbalance Doctrine of Passing, and two, the Blind Perdition. The two items that are still sitting there, still sitting there on our Crucible bucket list. So, are we going to get lucky? Well, we'll have to go wait and see. We got to complete the rest of these in the Iron Banner Mayhem, and Auto Rifle Bounties in Iron Banner Mayhem were definitely not the easiest thing to go ahead and complete. Thankfully, I had my Continental, and all was well with the world. So we've got a number of different bounties here, but we're going to start with one live. Before I went to Guardian Con, I wanted to see if I could potentially get that Doctrine before I went to Guardian Con. Let's see. Alright guys. This is the before Guardian Con opening of the Auto Rifle Bounty, and we get it. Let's first do our Rift, and then we're going to close it out with the Auto Rifle. Man, we want that Counterbalance Doctrine. We want it very much so. Ah, let's do a, let's not waste the lean on the rift. Just turn in the rift. Alright, Cryptic Dragon. Let's just take a look at it. If it's bad, we're going to delete it out of the inventory. It looks pretty bad. Looks pretty bad. Take any, not a fan. High caliber injection. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye to that. We're done with that. Okay, no more Cryptic Dragon. Now, for all. Cross it all. Cross it all. Cross your eyes. Cross everything. Oh, come on. Alright, get the lean. Get that lean. Big lean. Oh, wrong trials. Wrong trials. Dang it. Dang it. Wrong trials. You were so close, Destiny. You were so far away at the same time. Oh, I guess that means that we've got to do some more auto rifle bounties whenever we come back from Guardian Con, doesn't it? Rip that. <laughs> more auto rifle bounties incoming. Okay, so no dice with my Warlock Bounty before Guardian Con, so rip one Auto Rifle chance. But we still have some more to turn in for our Warlock. Some previous ones, our Lord Shax Bounty gave us an exotic Transversive Steps, we got the Silver Dread, and we got everybody's favorite, Aes Luna. So Transversive Steps, I'm a big fan of these things in PvE. And, well, they're not really that great anymore in PvP. Because now whenever you pick up an ammo box, everything is automatically reloaded. That was one of the perks it had before. It doesn't really have that anymore unless you're finding ammo on the ground in PvP. So sadly, they're getting a little bit worse, but still great in PvE. This Silver Dread, everybody loves the Silver Dread. And from using it a little bit, it's actually pretty amazing. This roll, I don't really like it. I've got a better one, but we just got a weapon that's pretty solid overall in the Crucible. And as far as the Aes Luna goes... Well, this isn't going to make anybody's day, so we're going to really quickly move on past this and get on to some of our bounties that also include the Iron Banner for this week. Let's start off with our Hunter. Again, we've got Iron Banner bounties, all four of those. We've also got our Auto Rifle bounty. We've got our Lord Chax bounty and a Heavy Weapon bounty to turn in. So starting with our Iron Banner, all this stuff we definitely have, but let's see if we get anything really amazing. For our Armor piece, it looks like we got a Cloak and another cloak. Okay, moving on to our heavy weapon, we got an ash factory. For our Lord Shacks, we got, oh, 20 strange coins. Womp womp. That one always slips by me whenever I get just strange coins. And for the auto rifle, no. No doctrine. Alright, so we're 0 for 2 right now. That means we only have one more to turn in. Oh man. Alright, so for our cloaks, neither one of those is perfect. Mine is at least relatively close. It looks really cool though. It's a really cool looking cloak, but unfortunately the stats just aren't bearing it out. So we're going to delete all of those. Let's move on to our weapons. Starting off, we've got an Ash Factory, and I'm just looking at how it compares to the Titanium Orchid. And Titanium Orchid has a little bit more velocity than this, but this sucker has blast radius for days. Sadly, that's about all this has. Not really digging the roll. I don't remember. Was the Ash Factory always one in the magazine? I don't think it used to be. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to delete that anyway. And our Proud Spire, at least it has full auto. That's a plus. 
That's a plus for sure. What do we have as far as our perks go? Reinforced barrel, don't really care about that for a PvE style shotgun. Hand laid stock, yes, I definitely like that a lot more for the PvE full auto shotgun. In the middle column, neither of these are really anything that I'm loving. I guess I'd probably pick lightweight over the two. And then of course, full auto at the end, yes, absolutely. I wish we could get Battle Runner somewhere else, and then we could have Full Auto and Battle Runner. That would be pretty nice. As far as our primary weapon goes, this Lingering Song. How is this looking? Again, huge, huge impact. Uh-oh, we've got max range. Max range and Luck in the Chamber, Single Point Sling, or Extended Mag. So Extended Mag is kind of counterproductive for Luck in the Chamber, so we're definitely not going to use that. So it's going to be Single Point Sling and luck in the chamber. Though I guess if you took this into PvE, maybe Firefly and Extended Mag? I don't know. We'll probably use this sucker in PvP though. And max range, luck in the chamber, it'll be good. It'll be good. As far as our auto rifle, that is not a doctrine. Who really cares? It's not a doctrine. And that is literally all we want. We absolutely do not care about that gun at all. But this lingering song, that's a pretty solid roll. That's a pretty solid and pretty amazing roll, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Okay, moving on to our Warlock from this week. This week we've got all the Iron Banner stuff for our Warlock. We've also got a Lord Chax Bounty, and then we've got a Pulse Rifle one. So potentially the Blind Perdition. For our Iron Banner stuff, we got another class item, an Unbent Tree, so there's a Doctrine style, but not the Doctrine, obviously. Now taking a look at our Lord Chax Bounty first, what do we end up getting from this? Uh, I guess we have to go look at the Postmaster. Our heavy weapon bounty, we got a Steel Oracle. Okay, and for this one, Party Favor over Blind Perdition. Of course, and as usual. So yeah, we've got artifacts, artifacts, artifacts. And then our class item, mine again is amazing. So this one is less amazing. Though again, it does look cool. But that's not going to save it. We've already got one. We've got barely any space as it is. Let's go ahead and delete that. But first off, let's move on to our heavy weapon here, this Steel Oracle. Looks like it's got Clown Cartridge, and we've got Blast Radius for days. That Velocity, at least we can bump it up a little bit, but overall, this isn't exactly something that you're going to be carrying around pretty much ever. No thank you, Steel Oracle. So yeah, if my rocket launcher doesn't have grenades and horseshoes, I'm really not that interested. Now as far as the Branded Lord goes, I'm not really interested ever in the Branded Lord. Unless it can somehow be better than Saladin's Vigil, which it cannot, I don't want it. Saladin's Vigil is just far, far superior. And as far as our primary weapon goes, here's the Unbend Tree, and no, oh my goodness, no, just no. There's no counterbalance, no brace frame, no thank you. You're not going to be able to hold this thing at all. It's going to fire all over the place. And for our not blind perdition, of course, it's a party favor, which is always really bad. Well, you have your choice of reload perks, which I guess is good whenever you have a magazine size of 24, and with brace frame, you would lower it even more, but no counterbalance, just no. Just pass by this gun. I don't think I have ever seen anybody use this weapon in the Crucible. I don't think I have ever, ever seen it. Guardian. As far as what went to the Postmaster, it looks like it was two things. One is a class item. Again, not as good stats as mine, so we're going to pass on right past this one and move over to the Sniper Rifle which is minimum impact. Basically, this is like a scout rifle. Here we go with explosive rounds, but really, you are never going to use this thing. Please, please never use this style of sniper rifle in PvE. Just no, and it's not even a really good PvP style roll either. So, womp womp. Let's move on to our Titan for our final one who also does have a chance at getting the Doctrine. Let's see. We've got all of our Iron Banner bounties and everything else. Turning in these Iron Banner Bounties, we get yet another Unbend Tree. So at least we're getting the right style of auto rifle here. We're getting the right style. Oh, another Branded Lord. Womp womp. And artifacts for freaking days. Heavy weapon, we get ourselves an Unending Deluge. I like that. We got, there we go. There's an exotic from Lord Shax. Helm of Inmost Light. And for auto rifle, it's a bullet hose. And it's not a Doctrine. I can't. I haven't even got one single doctrine yet from this stuff not even one not even one that was just with the wrong roll i haven't even picked up one yet that's crazy that's crazy there is definitely some rng in this thing and weighted probabilities to not get 
those year two trials weapons. They seem to be relatively rare. As far as our exotic goes, Helm of Inmost Light. So it looks really cool, and if you like Death From Above, it's really nice. My problem is, I do like Death From Above, but I also like having two lightning grenades, and that to me is just more important. I would much rather just pick the perk and then have two lightning grenades, because lightning grenades are absolutely amazing. But still, this is a really cool looking helmet. Not even sure if I still have one on my characters, or if it's just in the blueprint station, but chances are I'm going to delete that as well. Let's take a look at our weapons here. Unending Deluge, basically just like a corrective measure. I have one that has an amazing roll, just like it, with persistence and counterbalance, I believe. Don't hold me on the counterbalance part, though. This one isn't quite as good. Our Branded Lord, what do you think? Well, like I said just moments ago, unless you can make this like the Saladin's Vigil, or as good, or as competitive as the Vigil, I don't want it. And I really, really don't want this stat roll. Just junk, junk, junk. Finally, our last two weapons, both bullet hose auto rifles, neither of which ones that I wanted. So the Unbent Tree, it's got range finder, it does not have counterbalance, we do not want it. Send it, or hand laid stock, okay, so you could get your stability up, but look at that range. Not that the range is going to matter a ton on this style of auto rifle, you really want that counterbalance, you really want that range finder, not good enough. And finally, our Hexcaster, this one gives you all the range, but you have no stability at all. Oh my goodness, look at that. You couldn't control that if you wanted to. You could not control that. Womp womp. Terrible gun. Terrible gun. Did anything go to the Postmaster? I don't even remember. Oh yeah. Okay, another class item. So, there we go. There's another class item. So, auto rifle bounties. No doctrine yet again. No blind perdition yet again. Bucket list is still going. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your bucket list, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag no doctrine. Still.